that guy's pizza. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Stardust here, welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel, let's get straight into this, so we've got the patch notes for version 2.5.1, now obviously I, I, I cancelled the multiverse stream, it's so hot in the UK, it's unbelievably hot, it's not even fair how hot it is, but enough of that, let's get into the patch notes, right, because this shouldn't take as long, uh, this go uh, went live today, focusing on refining our new hero Jane Foster, the patch also rolls out some uh, stability things, Fixing improvements, cool. Fixing this issue preventing players from seeing all other players' heroic orbs during multiplayer. Okay, I yeah. Refine the lighting visual effects so when the mighty thaws, the all weapon ultimate heroic is active. Heart and string takedown audio cues now sync up with the takedowns animations. Improved elements of the mighty thaws uh, character model in efforts to reduce clipping. Uh, Mighty Thor's hammer no longer becomes Molnir when it is thrown, although that's some cool multiversal madness. Fixed a rare issue where the Mighty Thor's animatic would not activate when players interacted with Molnir. Uh, God Blast animation now sees lightning striking all targets as intended. Molnir no longer randomly sticks to certain glass elements in the environment. Thor is no longer, uh, there is no, sorry, what? There is no longer clipping through the Mighty Thor's cape when players use a cloudy disposition emote. Jay now holds a hammer at the start of a perfect spin and don't even need the hammer takedowns. Uh, all heroes' faces now animate properly when speaking with the Mighty Thor. User interface. Edited the Rise and Shine event description to include the units that the event rewards. Localized VO lines for the Mighty Thor now play properly during an intro cinematic. I mean, her animatic, because she doesn't have a cinematic. Um, <laughs> uh, the Mighty Thor's range combo skill, uh, quick fire now works against Dreadbots instead of a hammer bouncing off. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Um, the Mighty Thor's quick fire skill is no longer available. Preemptively, after unlocking the Seek and Pin skill, Mighty Thor's Seek and Pin ability is no longer dependent on whether players are aiming, seeks uh, enemies autonomously as designed. Molnir's chosen skill damage now scales to a hero's stats as intended. Molnir's gotten some repairs, it now glows properly when the Possess the Power emote is active. And the Aces Breaker perk no longer boosts non unarmed attacks such as Warrior's Fury Lightning Bolts. I didn't know he did that, but I wish I took advantage. Okay, now I I've seen an issue straight away. Oh, oh lordy. Oh no. Oh lordy. Oh lordy lord. Okay. Uh, bonus resource rewards for threat sectors, including those in Wakanda and the Snowy Tundra, are no longer rewarded for completing the wrong missions. That's fine. When players select the Mighty Thor for the first time, they will be automatically be granted power level 1 gear. The investing in the future achievement is now properly unlocked when upgrading a piece of gear to its max level. Good. Right. Here we go. Here's an issue. Gear vendors no longer offer power level increases beyond the intended level. Let's... Let's fucking talk about this. I'm sorry for swearing, right? I saw Bob Duck and Weave, good friend, good friend, uh, post this on Twitter, right? Now, I know I'm going to get comments about this, about, well, Stardust, listen, all right, it's an exploit. Bollocks to that, all right? There is no reason to prevent people from getting to that power level quicker because it's such a slog, bro. It's such a grind. Like, I didn't even do it for Jane. Full transparency, I did not do that uh, that um, farm for Jane. I did it the normal way because I just like playing the game, but you should have that option. Why not? Why not? People just want to get to that, you know, the end game portions. It doesn't make your hero any more entertaining to play for longer. It makes people not want to play the game because they have to go through that slog. When I was, even though I didn't do the cheese, right? Uh, when it got to sort of the, near the end, of the Mighty Thor sort of run that I was doing, I was like, oh, I've got like, like a couple of power levels out off doing an OLT. Let me just go to the vendor and buy some gear. That should 100% be something that's available. That's insane. Why, why are you guys trying to make it so long? <laughs> I don't, uh, whatever. It's so stupid, man. Like, so many people's guides on YouTube are now mute now. Uh... Which is why I just didn't bother because uh, something that Marvel's Avengers loves to do, it loves to, it loves to just make sure that your time is just so so long. Uh, the Mighty Thor's heavy attack skill, Falling Star, is now granted a level one and requires no skill to purchase. Players will no longer have an extra skill point at level one on the Mighty Thor. Defeating enemies while the Mighty Thor's All Mother's Blessing ability is active no longer progresses the Warrior's Fury daily challenge as intended. Need to take a call. Default takedown now shows as owned in player inventories as intended. Uh, Molnir now properly drops intrinsic orbs when 
uh, Molni has chosen. Heroic specialization is active. Okay. We're working on a fix to uh, we're working on a fix to an issue preventing cryo and gamma killers from progressing to step eight. Right, okay. We're aware of a visual hiccup occurring when players activate uh, Jane Foster's Molni chosen ability. I don't know what that is, but there you go. Uh, that's what's in the patch today. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I did a video a little bit ago. I confirmed there was a patch. There was a patch, so I'm happy about that. Um, I mean, look. The patch is fine. It's just that it's just that vendor one. Like, what what a useless change just to be annoying. That's all it was. It was just to be annoying. Like, <laughs> my word. But that's all. Uh, Mill is probably looking through the files now, so I'm gonna get a cold drink on this hot summer day and talk about that later. See you guys in a bit. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.